Now, when flooding happens from storms like Beta, it may feel like we are showing you the same places over and over again. That's because often we are. So our investigative team took a closer look at these places that seem to constantly flood during storms. ABC 13's Ted Oberg live with more on what they uncovered new at 6 tonight. Ted? Alona, we're joining you live along Bray's Bayou in Meyerland. This is the number one zip code in all of Texas for homes that have flooded at least four times across our state. This is a growing list. Our investigation confirms sort of what we instinctively know, right? This is happening too often, and whether you flood or not, it's costing you a fortune. Staring at her son's Pearland home surrounded by flood water last night, Vicki McRae spoke for so many of us this week. I don't think I slept much. It rained and rained and rained. And I kept thinking every time it rains, do I have to worry about them? Worry because we all know this happens way too often here. It seems like every time it rains, it floods. We're not remembering wrong. It does happen more often in Harris County than anywhere else in the country. Typical in this area of, of uh, Pearland, it's been it started during Ike. They took out the houses over here, flooded again during Harvey, and then kind of the same thing all over again. Data from FEMA's National Flood Insurance Program, which was analyzed by the Natural Resources Defense Council, confirms Harris County is home to the most homes in America that have flooded at least four times. You don't get on the list if you only flood once. It's homes that were flooded the year before that, and the year before that, and maybe the year before that that gets on the list. And behind each of the data points is a household or a family that's just experiencing these floods over and over again. The list represents the most expensive houses you've paid to repeatedly rebuild under the taxpayer-supported National Flood Insurance Program. On average, U.S. taxpayers have spent $262,000 to rebuild each of the nearly 8,000 repeatedly flooded Texas homes. The house that flooded in Harvey. After Harvey, the number of Texas homes on this list nearly doubled, but that just means thousands of Texas families who flooded at least three times before Harvey. The Texas list has more than doubled every decade since 1979, and the NRDC work shows just one in five of them has been raised or moved or mitigated. All of the others you paid to just rebuild in place. It's clear from this data set that our current system just isn't cutting it. So now it's your turn online right now. You can see the list and the location of all of these flooded homes that have been paid for by taxpayers to repeatedly rebuild. And as we say, whether you flood or not, you pay for it because flood insurance is supported by every U.S. taxpayer. Live in Ireland, Ted Oberg, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.